Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing well this evening. I am about to make some Elysian powder bun. These are like um, pastries basically. Tea cakes, good with coffee, for snacks, with tea. I have brown sugar. Well, here I have flour, two cups of flour. I'll put about a cup of brown sugar. I prefer dark brown sugar. I'll put an egg, some carnation milk, evaporated milk, nutmeg. I don't have any fresh one, so I'll just use the ready-made ground nutmeg. The fresh one is even better. Baking powder, I'll put two teaspoons of baking powder. I have vanilla. I'll just put, I love the Molina brand, but vanilla, I'll put some vanilla to my taste. And about a teaspoon of salt. And usually you can use lard, which I don't like using really, and, or shortening. I have butter, that's what I'll use. So, I have my oven set to 350. You can put yours to 400, but I use 350. Then, these are my dry ingredients. I already put in, just mixing them together. And I had my wet ingredients separately. Just mix me. If you have any lumps, that's from the brown sugar. And sometimes it's good to sift. Well, usually it's good to sift your flour, your brown sugar. Do you have some lumps? That's why I like to use my hand to feel before I mix them together, mix it together. I remember my mom used to make, when she used to make powder buns, she would use coconut milk. Some people use coconut milk. You can use coconut milk or evaporated milk or maybe both. You can mix a little bit of each. Let me get my butter. This is room temperature. I had it out for a little bit to get it to room temperature. And just mix it up finely. Hmm, smelling good. I smell that nutmeg. A lot of people make it, you know, slightly different, you know, I guess at their, you know, different strokes for different folks, I suppose, but comes out to just about similar or the same thing. But it's good to take steps to make it, comes out, you know, come out real nice. Some people just put mix everything together without separating wet and dry. I used to make it like that too. Because I didn't know any better. Well, I won't say it that way. I shouldn't say it that way, but I didn't know how to. You know. I was just practicing.
Let's mix. It's all mixed up. I'm gonna wash my hands and cut them into the sizes I want them to be. And get ready to bake. So here we go. They're ready. Um, usually I, I don't put raisins because some people here they don't like raisins really. Put it in there. Mm, I wish you were here to even smell this right now. It smells so good. So good. Bake this for 20 minutes. And it's done. Mm -mm -mm. Try it at home, you guys. You will love it. And it's easy to make. It's not difficult at all. Just adjust the sweetness to your liking. But it's good to put like two pounds of, I mean two cups of flour. You put one cup of brown sugar, but you can put a little more to your likeness or to how you like it, how sweet you like it. And one teaspoon of baking powder for each cup of flour. And one teaspoon of salt. I will put the the recipe and the amount of you know everything that I put in the powder bun in the description that box or in the description below thank you